In this video, we'll write the chemical and structural formula for ethanol. Ethanol is also called ethyl alcohol. So the first thing to notice, it ends in OL. And when we see it ending in OL, we know that it's going to be an alcohol. And if it's an alcohol, we'll have carbon attached to this OH group. This is what makes it an alcohol. R here means the rest of the molecule. So we know that we'll have an OH group bonded to a carbon. We also know if we look at the prefix eth, like ethane, that means two carbons. So we have two carbons and then we have this OH group attached. There are two ways we can figure out the chemical formula for ethanol, or also called ethyl alcohol. The first way is using this formula here. So we'd have C2H two times the N, that's this N here, the number of carbons, two times two plus one, and then we tack that OH group on the end. That gives us C2H5OH is the formula for ethanol. You might also see this formula written in a more condensed form here where we have the hydrogens all together, so C2H6O. This is probably more common though. You're probably likely to see this more often. The other way we could figure out the formula for ethanol is to actually just write out the structural formula for this ethyl alcohol, this ethanol here. And we can do that because we know that carbon is going to be bonded to four different things, all single bonds in this alcohol. So here's the structural formula for ethanol. We have our two carbons, and each carbon has four things bonded to it. This carbon has the three hydrogens and another carbon. This carbon has the carbon, two hydrogens, and then the OH group, this alcohol group that makes ethanol and alcohol. So if you count these up, you'll get C2H5OH or C2H6O, depending how you write it. Let's take a look at this in three dimensions real quickly. Since we know that carbon will be bonded to four things and there will only be single bonds, sometimes you'll see it written like this here. We have one, two carbons, and then we have our OH group here. And then you would just know that each carbon needs enough hydrogens to give it four bonds. If we looked at the structure, the molecular structure in three dimensions though, we'd have this oxygen that's red bonded to the hydrogen, that's the OH group that makes it an alcohol, and then our two carbons, and each carbon bonded to four things. If we looked at the molecular surface, we could see that the oxygen is more electronegative than the other atoms, and it ends up being a little bit more negative, gives us a polar molecule here. The hydrogen up here, you can see that's very positive. So we have a polar molecule in ethanol as well. The chemical formula for ethanol, also called ethyl alcohol, is C2H5OH, and the structural formula, that's right here. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.